Hi guys, Transformers from Power Thousand here, and today we are going to be looking at my collection room. Basically, cleaned everything, reshelved stuff, changed things around, and uh, got new lighting. So, um, really excited to show you this collection. One thing to know is that I'm going to be doing two collection videos. Uh, this one is in the day, so you can like see all the figures behind me and whatever, uh, and in the dark corners of the of the room. And uh, the second collection video is actually going to be in the dark because I got all these new lighting. They got like a lava lamp, I got a salt lamp, I got a new lamp for my birthday there, the D lamp. Uh, I got these new like LED sort of lights here which change colour. Um, and obviously you can't really see them in the day, so I'm going to be doing a collection video at night as well. That's going to be super good, and that's coming up soon. Also, please note that the end of days trailer, the final trailer with a release date is coming soon so stay tuned for that as well and um i think that's all i got to say so please enjoy this video like comment make sure subscribe and uh show me your collection as well let's grow together and here we are so this top shelf here is mainly my uh, my chug figures so we've got mainly uh season one and season two autobots and decepticons on the top here a lot of mainly Earthrise, uh, a few Siege, um, Kingdom, and then the occasional, obviously, uh, Prime Wars trilogy like the Combiners. And then going down here, we have uh, my Fall of Cybertron. I've got my Planet X uh, Char in there, um, a few bot bots, and just some odd figures, really. You know, like um, Siege Magnus X. I'm going to get the Kingdom Magnus. Um, got some my wreckers here. We've got Roadbuster Whirl. We've got Ryan Pax. We've got the Fembots here with Alpha Trion. It's got more Fembots than anyone. Um, I have actually got the Siege Rainmakers on pre order. These will go on the shelf somewhere. Not a lot of shelf space on here, but I'll fit them, trust me. And we've got Ratbat hanging out there. Uh, going down, we have uh, Transformers the Movie slash Season 3 or 4. Um, Gonna get some extra characters on here. We're gonna get Studio Series uh, Blur Corp, Hot Rod, um, Siege Magnus, you know, those sort of characters we're gonna add on to here. And I got my new uh, Retro Headmasters here as well, which are looking really, really good. And again, a few, a few bot bots here and there. Moving down, we have uh, Movie uh, Season 3 and Season 4 Decepticons or Villains. Um, as well as like headmasters and you know the Japanese continuity. So we've got the Quintesson, uh, we've got Runamog there, we've got some of the headmasters, we've got two Cyclonus, we've got um, the Kingdom and the Combiner War Cyclonus. I am tempted to pick up another Kingdom Cyclonus, but I'm not sure yet. I might just use this, um, the Combiner War Cyclonus as the second Cyclonus, just so I can use the extra money to buy a figure that I, uh, that I don't have. Yeah, here we got more of the Japanese stuff. We've got my Super Megatron there. Got my Retro Mind Wipe. And yeah, moving down again. Here we have mainly like universe classic sort of stuff. Um, got some of the authentic figures there. Uh, my, uh, my universe scatter shot here. My Ransack and Repugnus. And some R.I.D. stuff in the corner there. It's got Megatron chilling in the back there. <laughs> and then we just kind of have like a <laughs> a universe constructed corner right there. And Bone Crush is just chilling. He's the only one there. The other late to the party. Um, and then here we mainly have uh, Combiner Wars, Power of the Primes. Um, not really got any time to turn figures on here apart from Blur and Hot Rod. These Dinobots were on the top shelf originally, but I'm making room for the Studio Series Dinobots coming out. And then down here we have Transformers Animated. So we've got all my figures on here. And yeah, a uh, really good shelf. I, I do like this one. But yeah, that is the second main shelf right there. And now on to the rest. So 
So I have this custom made um, board here. It says my name on, or what's it? Got a logo there, but for my door. And we come in and we've got a Transformers lampshade there, we've got a Transformers cushion, we've got some Transformers uh, cuddly toys right there. Uh, the, the rest are sentimental, but they mean something to me. Um, on here we've got my Autobot arc right down there. We've got my signed autograph of Jetfire by Mark Ryan. I didn't actually meet him, this is, this is a sad thing. I got it from a, my local Comic Con, which um, obviously, whoever I bought it off, um, they obviously met Mark Ryan. But um, I did actually message Mark Ryan on Facebook. I found him and um, <laughs> I sent him a photo and he did say it was real, so that's actually good. Got my Megatron picture up there. Here's my definitive movie cast. So we've mainly got like The Last Night, Age of Extinction on this side, and the Bumblebee movie. Also got some humans here, like Human Alliance. Got my Elefunga and Lionheart figure there, what are in my stop motion. We got Cogman sitting in his own little car there, if you can see him. Uh, Scorp not okay because he doesn't fit on the other side of this shelf. And. Soundwave there, chilling. And the mighty Devastator. Then we have the uh, Shockwave's weakness, the Power Trooper. I need some more of them. Got my dreads here. Again, I've got uh, several of uh, the other movie figures, you know, like the main movie figure, like movie one, two, three. Um, I've got Crankcase there for. You know, my definitive crankcase got the sound wave there for my definitive Revenge of the Fallen sound wave in his robot mode. And um, that is um, the satellite mode. This guy's better in robot mode, but this guy's better in satellite mode. So. And we have Leadfoot there, courtesy of Housing Gottfried. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I got my Ironhide upgrade kit. Got Shockwave in the back there, you probably can't see him. And uh, Thundercracker and Starscream in the background behind Devastator. Probably can't see him very well. And then moving on, we have um, my G1 Autobots with a Beast Wars Tarantulas so, because I can't fit him on the Beast Wars shelf. Um, we've got my G1 Decepticons. Some of these do have like Girlbots in the background as well, and a couple of knockoffs or reissues. Like that Jazz right there, that's a reissue. That Inferno is a knockoff. Um, got a Generation 2 Grimlock there. You get the idea. And some more Beast Wars um, stuff going on here in the G1 shelf. And then we get to the actual Beast Wars shelf, the Maximals and the Predacons. That guy there, I don't know his name, um, I don't know what series he was from, but he always reminded me of Savage Noble, of, um, of Beast Machine, so I, I, I like to keep him there. And that's my Beast Wars shelf. Going down, we got um, Movie 1 Autobots here. My custom Protoform Bumblebee there. We got uh, a mix of Allspark, uh, uh, what is it called? Allspark, Power, Allspark Wars, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we got that subline of movie movie one. I forgot what it's called. Allspark Power, I think. Um, my, bra my brain's gone blank. <laughs> And uh, yeah, just a few extra little figures in there from the films. Then we got the movie one Decepticons here. Do like these shelves here. And um, movie two Autobots, so we've got Revenge of the Fallen bots here. And then we have, again, a bit of a mix between Revenge of the Fallen slash like Hunt for the Decepticons. You know, those sort of sublines we had. Then we have um, Revenge of the Fallen Decepticons. Very nice. Uh, Dark of the Moon Autobots here. I think this room setup, how I've got it now, is the best room setup that I've done so far. Uh, this right here is Last Night slash Age of Extinction slash Dark of the Moon. Um, it's a bit of a, a grey area here. It's um, just a bit of a mumbled up area because most of my Age of Extinction figures are actually up here like Crosshairs, um, you know, Prime, Hound, they're up there. Um, then we got my Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, Last Night, Septicons, so we got Megatron there, Knockoff Lockdown, Knockoff Starscream, uh, and yeah. 
Uh, moving down, we've got my Knights of Cybertron. So we've got my custom Quintessa in the back there. We've got uh, Storm Rain, Grimlock for Dinobots. Should really have Optimus Prime on that shelf. <laughs> Uh, and then we got the uh, the robots in disguise, the Autobots. We got the majority of the R.I.D. series. I do have, um, I think it's like all but like all but three or four of the R.I.D. minicons. I'm only missing a few of them, but they were all in the boxes, in the storage. And then these are the R.I.D. Decepticons. Again, pretty much majority of the cast are in a few, and the same with the minicons. So yeah, that is that shelf right there. I haven't counted how many I've got though. I really want to, but I, uh, I haven't. And then we got my my home studios right here. That um, that is true for everything. I really, really, you know, love my channel. So. I know I haven't uploaded much this year, but um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on here, we have my Transformers Prime shelf. So we got all Focus, Camera. We got all the Predacons here. Then uh, we got the Decepticons. Kind of got an extra Wind Razor there because that one's broke, so I actually got another one. So I've got one in both modes. But yeah. Then we move to the Autobot side. Got Arachnid chilling up there because, well, she doesn't fit on the shelf. Oh yeah, we had Skylinks as there as well. I forgot to mention him. He's just chilling as well. Um, this is what you do when you don't have any more room on the shelf. You just pile them on top of each other. But yeah, that is the Prime shelf. And also here we have um, my my Beast Wars collection from Kingdom so far. Even though that's a filling thirty Rhinox. Yeah, that's my that's my Beast Wars collection up to now. Clearly not where I want it to be, but um, we have PlayStation 2 games here as well. So that's nice. I got the Transformed Armada, Transformed the Game, Vendor the Fallen, and the Beast Wars. Uh, then we get to the the big boy shelf. This is wow. I don't know how I I don't know how I got all these figures on here. Okay, I don't know how, but I have. I have. Uh, many of these figures are combined though, that's probably why I got them on. So we got Armada, Autobots here. And Decepticons, so we've got like Optimus combined with Jetfire right there. I've got some of the Minicons uh, combined up. Got Hot Shot with Inferno combined. Um, we got who else have we got combined? Prowl with Rodimus. And also the um, I do have the Universe uh, pack of Minicons, and I have actually just put them on here. So we got some of the Minicons here from the, uh, the Universe multi pack. And it even though the Universe shelf is over there. It um, just feels right putting the Minicons on the uh, Unicorn Trilogy shelf. And plus if I put them on there, um, I'm pretty sure my dog will choke on it, so I don't want that. And we have the Chaos Bringer. I'm going to put his light eyes on. Yeah, that'll be good in the dark. And again, going on to the, from the Energon to the uh, Cybertron figures. Optimus combined with Wing Saber. Got Unicorn up there. Got my exclusive Elite One. Got my E of the Horse Starscream there. Megatron there. Combined with Nemesis Breaker. But yeah, that is my Unicorn Trilogy shelf. Again, how the heck did I get all that on there? There are so many figures on there. Um, then I have my star screen clock. Got some like, little fairy lights here, North Pole logo up there. My Optimus Prime picture there, but it transforms. Move on! And it's Bumblebee. And then, return to base. And it's Prime. Uh, got my TV there. 
got my Autobot light there. I do actually have an auto, another Autobot light and I have a Decepticon light, but uh, I don't really know where to put it, so yeah. Anyway, got my Masterpiece figures here. Got my uh, game there, my Generation 2 game. My kickboxing belts and a Bumblebee picture there. Then I have some more Masterpiece figures here. My, uh, my new salt lamp, which I absolutely love. My new live lamp that I got for Christmas. And uh, an Optimus Prime fidget cube on top of the world. Because why not? And then we've got some statues here. Some um, some of these like custom made Bumblebee and Optimus Prime there. Got them from a, a market, on a, a Christmas market actually. And um, this is three right there because he doesn't fit on the Beast Wars shelf. And of course my PlayStation 2. Got uh, Clementine and Lee right there from the Walking Dead game. Moving across again, we have a Rocky canvas there. Good to have this guy back up. I used to have him up there, and now he's there. But he's been out of the way, like in storage for a little while now, so it's good to have him back up. Got um, just like a board there. Ideas and stuff like that. Got uh, another picture there and my black belt certificate. So, yeah. Also got a another light there. And that uh, is pregnant. But, yeah, that is everything. That is my room. Uh, again, I think this is the best that I've ever done it. Yeah, I also have my Transformers football right here, and um, my Grimlock figure here, yeah, my Stomp and Chomp Grimlock. And then uh, <laughs> under here I have all my my magazines, and uh, this one I've got another three right there. We, we ignore that mess right there, we, we cover it up and there we go, it's fine. But on, yeah, under my bed I have, I think... Eight or nine boxes like full of Transformers. Like this one's all from the magazines and the comics and stuff. Then I've got a, a box here with uh, I think that's all the Creo. And then just yeah, imagine all the basically under my bed. Imagine just boxes. Uh, that's what's under my bed. So um, yeah. But yeah, that is my room. I hope you enjoy this. Oh, that air freshener. Gosh, I wish you could smell this room. <laughs> that sounds weird, but um, wow, if, if an Amazon rainforest combined with an air freshener combined with the best scent on earth, that is what my room smells like right now. All I need is incense and it will be complete. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this room tour. Let's give you a, a another quick 60 of it. Um, the majority of my collection is up. Um, not all of it. I, I still have basically everything under my bed and uh, that is all my either knockoffs or crossovers or duplicates, uh, Creo, construct bots, um, I like the little things like the um, uh, tactics, RPMs, robot heroes, robot replicas, you know those sort of stuff. Um, if I put everything on display I reckon this whole area here uh, would be filled and I reckon I could probably fill this wall as well so probably three walls of this room but yeah that is my collection of 2021 so far I'll probably do another one maybe in a few months or at the end of the year but that's what I've got on display um, I've still got obviously comics uh, books DVDs uh, video games and whatever else but yeah, that is what is on display, and again, I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. I've been, oh, I've been trying to get this room right for so long, and I feel like I finally got it right. So that's perfect for me. And uh, yeah, again, end of day is coming soon, and please stay tuned for the trailer that is coming out very, very, very soon. Release date on the end of that. There's going to be more Expanded Universes coming out as well. Um, probably more Expanded Universe after End of Days and really focus heavy on that element. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, thank you for being so patient with me, everyone. 
really really appreciate all the support and the patience with um, this massive project so thank you hope you have a great day please like comment rate share subscribe and follow me on instagram at tfm5000 also and almost forgot about that and transform and roll out